you often want to manipulate the raster color ramp or stretch and we've just shown you the most rudimentary steps. We'll show you a few additional things you can do. So here we have our slope data and it's got this max min stretch from 1 to 300 and we might want to change that stretch. Now we give you various uh, levels to change it to on a slightly different layer, but the same rules or idea apply. So we have a stretch here and you can pick various kinds of stretch to discrete a class of higher unique values for the color ramp or even vector fields. The stretch is fine and you can pick various color schemes. Now typically green to red, you know, a three or four color scheme is enough and you can change both the background value here which we won't show because that just changes the color around the outside and then different kinds of stretches so there's a percent clip here there's a minimum maximum or a standard deviation each one you might want to use to um, change how things are displayed so if i only do a half of standard deviation from the, the mean and then apply that I basically get a different look than if I were to say do five standard deviations from the mean. You hit, when I hit return it gets applied and those don't change that much. Now one of the options is this maximum and minimum and you can tell it to get the statistics not from the data set so it looks at the maximum and minimum in the data set but rather ones that you custom define. So this goes from 1 to 300 but if I wanted to go from let's say 1 to 200 or even 150 and then I hit return it applies that and you can see it'll expand the area and if I do something really ridiculous like 1 to 10 I can change then how the color ramp is applied uh, so anything above 10 is going to get that red color on the top so I can change then my uh, symbology here and customize my color ramp in various ways using these various options